The entrance of Miles, the head of a huge firm, signals the start of the movie on May 13, 2022. His five pals receive a special puzzle box from him, solve it, and then ultimately open the box. They received a card with an invitation inside that was issued by Miles who had called them to Greece. Miles has written that when you all arrive, I'll play the game Murder Mystery with you. After that, a picture of an elderly man who was a shrewd detective and who also acquired the card and puzzle box from kilometers away is displayed. In the following scene, all of his buddies have arrived in Greece because it was a party and they had to attend at any costs. A friend of Miles who was a fashion designer has taken her companion to the location that Miles has called them. When they all saw Andy, an older employee of the company who had been fired by Miles years earlier due to a quarrel, they all expressed surprise. His YouTuber acquaintance had brought his companion along. To transport them to the magnificent island of Miles called Glass Onion, Miles dispatched a lovely ship. When they get on the island, Miles welcomes them and shows them around. After seeing everything, they retire to their rooms to rest. Later, Miles brings the detective to his room and inquires as to his purpose. Since I did not call you or send you an invitation to come here. If you didn't call me here, you sent me this in that puzzle box. Then perhaps one of your pals has fixed the puzzle box and sent it to me. The investigator says as he hands the man the card. Maybe they did it for fun. And Miles thinks it's great. Imagine how great it will be to have a famous detective like you participate in my murder mystery game. They now head to the pool to enjoy themselves and Miles according to a YouTuber acquaintance. Last week as I was traveling somewhere, Miles was also traveling by automobile. But he was driving quickly and couldn't see me, almost running me over. Miles says that there is wisdom behind it, that no matter what the thing is, start with a tiny step. When the investigator asks him how he and his pals became so successful after it, when they were taking a break at a place, that will enlarge with each step as time goes on. And by putting this into practice, we are now successful. In the meantime, Andy, a former employee of the company whom Miles fired, shows up. She tells the investigator that Miles misspoke because today they are successful because of Miles. She says that he assisted them in performing the improper chores and then she departs. Currently, the fashion designer friend of Miles calls Miles and complains that you requested my buddy to provide a false statement, but I don't want her to do any incorrect task, as all the media and channels are already against her. Miles responds that this is not my headache. The detective could hear them from a distance because I told her to, and she now has to do it. The YouTuber is now seen roaming the island, but he soon comes upon her friend, whom he will later wed to Miles. He becomes depressed and stays silent, implying that there is something between them and that the girl is fooling him. While demonstrating the actual Mona Lisa and explaining that he had brought it from a museum, Miles told them that the investigator was also observing all of this. He then gave the detective a little bit of chemical. It resembled crystal but had numerous powers. It had fuel and energy, which allowed it to produce both fire and electricity. He is told by Miles that there is risk associated with its use and that he has numerous crystals of this kind of chemical. As a result, he will call well-known world leaders and inform them of the chemical. I'll tell them that my firm discovered it with the aid of salty water, and that when this chemical becomes well-known and its demand rises, my company will also profit. The fact that it can generate power and that electric devices can use it is a big benefit. Meanwhile, Miles' friend, a scientist for his company, stops him and informs him that the investigation is still ongoing and needs more time. Miles claims nothing will happen if you use it, but it will be dangerous on it. Be patient. You might not be aware that the island is working on it. When everyone was seated at the dining table, Miles announced, As I've told you before, you all have to play a game called Murder Mystery in which I will be unjustly murdered and the murderer will be one of you. You need to track down the culprit, but the detective lets you know right away that it will be a fashion designer. Miles doesn't like this, so he makes a second call to the detective and asks, Why did you say this? Even before the game began, you wrecked it. On it, the detective adds I simply mentioned this otherwise. Every person who comes here has a cause to end you, and perhaps your life will be in risk for entertainment. But Miles asks being shocked they are all my friends, my companions, and work for my firm so why they will end me. The investigator claims that your scientist is unhappy with you because you are working on that chemical despite his orders not to, and that you have threatened to oust your political buddy from office if she refuses to approve the project using this chemical. And, despite the fact that your friend is a fashion designer and doesn't want it and neither does her friend, you nevertheless force her to lie to the media. The YouTuber finds out that his friend is misleading him with you since there is something going on between you two. If we say that your former friend Andy is now your adversary, it suggests that for some reason, your friends are now your adversaries. Miles reveals to the investigator a photograph of his pals that was accompanied by a handkerchief and a pencil sketch. After seeing it, Miles says, I got the idea to start my firm in a pub. Its name is Glass Onion. Therefore I based the name of my island on it and spelled out my plans on a handkerchief. 
The same one, which I carefully guarded until now, shows Andy arguing with a YouTuber on the other side before walking away. After that, Miles and the investigator show up. But YouTuber's phone starts ringing as he was receiving messages from Google. He is astonished to see them but then starts giggling while displaying Miles those notifications. Miles is shocked to receive the alerts, and he hugs the YouTube user and tells him to be quiet before announcing that he is giving the YouTuber a senior position in his company. Hearing that he can make a good living makes the YouTuber happy. Now the question is what were those notifications on which Miles got changed that he offered YouTuber a senior post? Why he got scared and what was he asking the YouTuber to hide? We will discover this later. The YouTuber was happy so he had juice offered by Miles but in a while, he starts breathing difficulty, Sandy dies on the spot. His untimely death makes them all nervous, and they begin to suspect Andy. As she left the party before Miles arrived, he noticed the YouTuber's name scribbled on the glass. This meant that the killer intended to kill me but he passed away. The peculiar thing was that the YouTuber's rifle and phone mysteriously vanished from that location, and as the island's light suddenly went out, everyone panicked and began to flee. In the meantime, Andy is introduced to the investigator, who also informs her about the YouTuber's passing. His unexpected passing causes her to become alarmed and astonished, but someone then shoots Andy and kills her. The scene then moves to the detective's home when Andy's twin sister stopped over to speak with him. Here, we learn the startling information that Andy passed just a week ago and is rumored to have committed suicide. Andy's twin sister tells the investigator that she read Andy's diary and discovered that there was no conflict in her life and that she was content, so why would she commit suicide? Evening went smoothly. Because of this, I believe her pals. All of her friends are going to Miles, so keep this puzzle box and figure out who killed Andy because of it. Later, she reveals that Andy, not Miles, was the one who had the idea to found the company. She had written it down on a handkerchief. However, after two years, a fight broke out between the two due to the chemical. Because she didn't want that chemical to be used, Miles lied in court with the assistance of his pals. But Andy only had that handkerchief to back her up, which, however, went somewhere during this case. After that, Miles created that phony handkerchief in the style of Andy, and my sister lost this lawsuit alone as a result. The real handkerchief was discovered one day by Andy, who drew a picture of it and placed it in an envelope. To demonstrate that it was Andy's idea, she showed it to all of her friends other than Miles. But the following day, Andy passed away and the genuine handkerchief also vanished. The investigator tells Andy's sister I will find out her murder, but he will also travel with me as Andy on Miles Island since he knows someone among Andy's pals is her murderer. She traveled to the island with the investigator under the alias Andy so that you may spy on everyone and provide me with information. While spying, she overhears a conversation between a politician and a scientist in which the politician declares, I would never pass this chemicals project, and the scientist claims that when the chemical is utilized, it generates a deadly gas that is dangerous for humans. I didn't want to do this assignment, but Miles urged that I do it because if I didn't, Miles would bring someone else to my house and I would be completely destroyed. While spying on the fashion designer, Andy's sister learns that Miles was actually planning to give her money so she would falsely claim that it was Miles, not Andy, who had the idea to start the company. She learns that the YouTuber instructed his friend to purposefully establish a connection between her friend and Miles so that he could obtain a senior position in Miles' company through his friend. This indicates that everyone supported Miles because it served their personal interests. When the YouTuber and the politician arrived, Andy's sister was on her way to the detective to tell Miles the truth, but the politician, who was thinking of her as Andy, said listen, Andy, why are you mad at us? When you sent the image of an envelope, I and a scientist came to your home. While we departed, the fashion designer stopped by your house, but even then no one answered the door when the YouTuber was already there and hammering on it. The investigator is then informed by Andy's sister that when Andy mailed them to verify herself, her friends came to see her but the door wasn't opened by anyone. Upon learning of this, the detective's suspect separated herself from her pals. After the argument, Andy's sister inspected everyone's rooms before leaving the party, but she was unable to locate the envelope with the actual handkerchief. This was the previous tale, but in the present, we find that someone shot Andy's sister to death. Fortunately, Andy's sister survived because she always has Andy's diary with the bullet still launched in it. She was pretending to pass away because the detective asked her to, so people would believe she had passed away. A opportunity presented itself, so Andy's sister went to Miles' room. When she looked here, she discovered the envelope behind the picture, which showed that Miles had ended Andy. Miles, the detective says I learned that you added pineapple juice to the beverage of a YouTuber despite knowing that he had a pineapple allergy and would have died if you had done so. 
The detective claims that when Andy emailed you about the idea with the copy the scientist sent that mail to the scientist, as a result of it, Miles became enraged and went to Andy's house, where he murdered her and then fled immediately after stealing the handkerchief, driving quickly with which the YouTuber was also about to collide. He told us when we were near. The YouTuber actually learned that Andy had passed away when he started receiving Google notifications, and he immediately suspected Miles because he had seen him leave Andy's home. After that, he began threatening Miles, saying that if he doesn't give me a senior position in your company, he will tell everyone that he has broken up with Andy. Miles is shown the actual handkerchief by Andy's sister, which has the glass onion bar emblem underneath. She says, didn't you think it was the handkerchief from that bar when you saw me and how much I resembled Andy? She claims that I am her twin sister and that the bar you are referring to closed nine years ago. Your handkerchief was made a few years ago, and it lacks the glass onion bar logo. As a result, it is fake, and this one is real. However, after burning your handkerchief, Miles claims that you have learned everything there is to know about me. Sadly, you have no proof that I did anything wrong or that I killed Andy. Even though they are all aware of Miles' truth at this point, they all choose to stand by him instead of speaking out against him because doing so would be to their detriment. When Miles has nothing left, his friends will turn against him, the investigator tells Andy's sister. There is only one way to ruin Miles. Let us shatter all his cherished items placed here. After the detective gives Andy's sister a small portion of the chemical he was given by Miles while departing, Andy's sister starts speaking everything and then sets that place on fire. But Miles was still normal. When she shows Miles that small piece of the chemical, they all get terrified, including Miles, and panic since the piece is loaded with fuel and energy. Prior to this, he had the impression that everything was alright. There was a massive explosion as she threw that piece into the fire, and as a result, the entire area was destroyed by the flames. The detective stood outside taking in all of this while witnessing Miles' devastation. Before they are burned, everyone escapes, and Andy's sister tells Miles, you lost and you have nothing left. Miles has now put an end to Andy and the YouTuber after seeing that his friends have decided to testify against him. This movie comes to the conclusion that evil and greed have the worst results.